Hey, this is Jesse Tula from BadFrame.com, and in this video, I want to show you just how quickly and easily you can create your own pseudo effects or custom effect controls in After Effects using the Pseudo Effect Maker. So let's get started. We're going to go into Window, Extensions, and Pseudo Effect Maker, and that brings up our Pseudo Effect Maker interface. Over here on the right, you can see all of the different controls we have to choose from. So I'll just add one of each. You can see one of our controls was Group, and everything that's inside that group can be collapsed. Over here on the left, you can see as we're dragging over our controls, or as our mouse is going over our controls, we get this grip icon. So if we wanted to change the order of anything, you can come over here, click, drag, and rearrange it wherever you want. You can also choose these uh, little up and down arrows over here to change the position of them one at a time. All of the defaults can be set right over here in the effects panel. So if we want the checkbox to be checked, click it over here. You can also choose all of the same options plus more on the control panel side. So for instance, we can check or uncheck that checkbox. However, for things like the slider control, in the effect panel side, we can set our default, our slider min, and our slider max. But in the control panel side, we can set things like valid min and valid max, the precision for how many decimal places we want, the percent symbol, and the bits per channel values. So there's always gonna be more options to choose from over here on the right side. You can also name all your controls, so like size, whatever you want it to be set to. You can also name the controls directly inside the effects panel. Once you have all your defaults set, you have all your controls named, you have all your groups created, you have a couple different options for applying your effect. The simplest one is to hit the apply button. Click that. You can see that right away where you get our control right inside of After Effects and it's ready to use. You also have the save option. Go ahead and save your control out as a preset and that preset can be applied through the effects and presets panel and it can be used in any version of After Effects all the way down to After Effects CC and possibly lower depending on the controls you're using. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a general idea of how quickly you can create your own custom effects directly inside of After Effects using the Pseudo Effect Maker. For more detailed information on all the different options you have available to you, check out the help file, which you can get to either from the pop-out menu up here and go to help, or by clicking the little question mark icon down here. And that help file will have all the information you need for every bit of the Pseudo Effect Maker. But anyway, that's it for getting started with the Pseudo Effect Maker. My name is Jesse Tula for BatchFrame.com and I'll see you in the next one.